In this short video, I'm going to go through how to freeze rows and columns in Excel. If this is something you like, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more content just like this. All right, so let's get into it. So you have your Excel document and you want to try to freeze that first row across so that when you scroll down, those titles are still there. So let me show you how to do that. Up top, we are going to click on view. Then you will see something about two thirds over to the right that says freeze panes. When you click on it, it's going to give you a couple of options. The first option is to freeze the top row. You can see that there's a line underneath that indicates that it's frozen. And now as you scroll down, you are able to see the title or that first row all the way across. Let's say I had a lot of data over here to the right and I wanted to make sure that this troop group was always showing. So let me go back up here to unfreeze and then we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on freeze panes and then I'm going to choose freeze first column. Now you'll notice that there's a line going down the first column. So as I scroll over to the right, those icons, those um, values in the first column stay exactly the same. I also have the option to freeze multiple things. So let's say I want to freeze these first two rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top of the row and notice that my cursor has now turned into a black arrow pointing down. So I'm going to click on that and then while holding control, I'm going to click the next two columns. So you want to go one column past where you want to be. Then I'm going to click on freeze panes and select freeze panes. Now you'll notice that the first two columns have been frozen and I can scroll up and down that way. It works the exact same way if you'd like to freeze multiple rows. So I'm going to click on this same thing. I'm looking for that black arrow. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to go one row past what I want it to do. So I'm going three rows because I want it to freeze the top two rows. Then I'm going to go ahead and click freeze panes and click freeze panes. And now you can see my line is there and I have frozen the top two rows. I hope that this quick video has given you the help that you need. Please let me know what other things I can help you with. Leave them down in the comments below. And I hope that you will like this video. There's a link up here to watch some other videos that might help you out. And as always, stay techie.